I'm not doing the CrossFit Games open, and I think most people probably shouldn't. I think that's a very different idea that I've had as of more recently, I think maybe since the pandemic. Um, I, for whatever reason, have just not seen the benefit that comes out of doing the CrossFit Open. We, we know there's so much going on within the CrossFit space, especially going on with HQ, all of the changes that they're making. And to be quite honest, I would say, yeah, since 2019, 2018, I would say, heck, maybe 2015 um, is when I really slowly started seeing less and less of a reason to sign up for the Open. Uh, I think the biggest thing or the first and foremost thing is has always been the price for the price that we pay to sign up for the open. Sure, one can argue and say that it's almost like signing up for a competition, but you pay 20 bucks to sign up for the open and you get nothing outside of being able to get listed on a leaderboard and track your score for the open, join your leaderboard for your gym. I would say that that would be worthwhile if outside of that, maybe you got a free t-shirt, maybe you, well, I guess technically it wouldn't be a free t-shirt, but maybe you got a t-shirt, maybe you got something to commemorate the experience outside of getting added onto a leaderboard, but that $20 doesn't actually translate into anything that ends up being beneficial directly to the end user outside of other competitions where something like that takes place. For example, last year, I think it was, um, I think it was in the fall, Rogue had a few different competitions that were online. And when you s signed up for that competition, you also got a t-shirt. I think that would be pretty cool. Obviously logistics would make that a little bit more difficult for CrossFit HQ to implement. But I think to convince somebody to sign up for the open to and, and pay 20 bucks you need to give a lot more than just hey you're gonna sign up on the leaderboard for your gym and worldwide like it's it's just not enough now if they were using those dollars to you know impact the community in a, in a clearer way i could understand that but i think as of right now that's i would say that's the biggest thing as to why i'm not signing up for the open the other reason why I'm not signing up for the Open is mainly because of the fact that uh, I'm not in the same facility that I've, I've been in or, or uh, gym facilities that I've been in for um, in order to, to complete all of the, the different movements. And I think that that maybe might be a shortcoming of the CrossFit experience is that while they do encourage scaling, um, I think for something like the Open, it would be great if they were home options or I guess you could maybe even say like body weight options for performing the um, the open and so when you factor that in you know I go to a, a garage style gym uh, but it's not necessarily the facility that's uh, equipped for you know doing a lot of things like uh, you know handstand push-ups in a place or um, you know, doing bar muscle ups while we do have like row rigs and stuff like that. It's just not a CrossFit gym. And you can argue and say, well, hey, go to a CrossFit gym and you can do the open. Uh, but I also work out at home. I do have some, you know, uh, minimal gym equipment that I work out and use uh, following the uh, HWPO program. And so I guess just given all of those different things, it, again, it just doesn't make sense for me to sign up for the open. I would love to have the option of um, you know, I guess you could say maybe scaled or body weight type movements. And while yes, it's part of the search to finding the most fit individual, um, it would be great to have a scaled track or a, you know, at home track where, you know, it's minimal equipment. You can perform and compete against other people that are within that same track. Um, and it would bring in more people. I think more people might be interested in signing up if you factored in, hey, we're going to make the open free. Uh, it's going to be uh, also uh, uh, more open for more people to compete and sign up for the Open. And I think the last thing um, for not signing up for the Open is just that the current culture of CrossFit and the current culture of HQ is just it's it seems very um, hostile. I guess you could say it seems very just like un old school HQ. Um, and it's just it's it's not the same experience that it used to be. I feel like. 
Um, over the years, um, CrossFit has been uh, a very inclusive, I guess you could say, experience in terms of, of, of um, everything, all aspects of, of CrossFit, whether it's, you know, you seeing mom and pop CrossFit shops popping up or CrossFit gyms popping up all over the place now with the affiliate, affiliate fees skyrocketing. I, we're going to see less and less, I guess, of, of those um, types of, of places. And yeah, I think overall, it's just not the same. I mean, even the sponsors that are involved within CrossFit, it's very different now than it had been, you know, 2015 era, um, you know, 2014 era of CrossFit, you know, where, you know, CrossFit was taking place at the Home Depot Center. Um, and, you know, it, it just seemed more homegrown um, and more uh, garagey style. And, and, and now it's just different. And I think that's just industries in general. Things change, things grow, things, um, you know, uh progress and and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that per se but i think hq isn't really seeing and looking at what it is that people want um and what it is that the community is asking for and and it's it's just not the same so i think with that being said those are my three reasons for why i'm not doing the open this year uh, i might try one of the workouts or i might you know uh, attempt one of the workouts or figure out a, a, a at home version of uh, the open workouts, but I'm not wasting my $20 and signing up for the open. I have in the past. I just don't see a reason to do it now. And and those are my reasons. So I'd love to hear your guys' reasons for why you guys aren't signing up for the open this year, or if you are signing up for the open and why you are choosing to sign up for the open. And so with that, guys, as always, with all of my videos, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.